Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Vernon, put Clementine back on. I want to talk to her. This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. You're fucking dead! I don't know who you are, but I will kill you! Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Just hold on, Clementine. Coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. We ain't flush with time. But... Fuck. We got less than I thought. I'll be ready to kill anything that tries to get in. You got it by yourself? Damn right. You just trying to find another way out of here. Got it. And Lee, I'm glad I didn't let you come alone. This isn't gonna help. Hey, thanks for having me back. It's been you and me, pal, since the very beginning. Yeah. Hey, Clementine needs you. Get back to it. Those things let up for a fucking minute. Just keep looking for another way out. I got this. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kinda hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Just some surgical supplies. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. found your goddamn secret, you dumb son of a bitch! You were bitten?! Fuck, man! When were you... God! It happened before. We gotta do something about it. I don't wanna be dead before getting to Clementine. I'm with you. I was, uh, gonna try to do a little surgery before you woke up. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. 
It's a hell of a risk, but... Hey, you never know. Fuck it. Cut it off. You sure? Yeah. This ain't gonna be fun. Tell me about it. You got ah! Ah! Keep still! Try oh, God! I know, I know! Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. Oh, what the hell did we do? Oh. Uh. Jesus, this hurts so goddamn bad. I hope it helps. You gonna be able to get going? I think we gotta move. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. You are some kind of something. Jeez. Oh, Not exactly a handicap ramp. No. No, it's not. We're gonna have to climb as quiet as we can. Can you handle that? Remember when Savannah was empty? Oh, way back then. Like six hours ago? A lot's happened in the meantime. You wanna talk about what happened back there? You lost a lot of blood. If you find yourself getting winded or worse, you gotta let me know. And it wasn't my favorite hand anyway. 
Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, pal. I do. Maybe we can wait for an opening. We might be waiting a while. But you're right, we probably just gotta pick our time and go. I think step one is to pick a direction. Back towards the mansion is my vote. I'm all turned around, though. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. That looks like Crawford Square over there. going back in there. It's a bell tower, like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. Jumping that. <laughs> Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bell tower? Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? Let me do it. No. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? If anything happens to me, you're the only chance she's got. Be careful. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Cause the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. Shit. <laughs> ah! 
Jesus, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No kidding. Try to find another way out. That did the trick, pal. Now get back here. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. What the fuck? Vernon, his entire crew, they took the boat. No fucking way! They jumped us. They didn't have Clementine. They took the boat and locked us in here. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. They fucked us! He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! What the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. Small, stupid thing. But yeah. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, uh, I thought it might buy me some time. You know, get that bite off my body? Hopefully whatever's gonna happen takes longer. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourself. Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. 
At some point, people are going to have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances, right? This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs! Make sure nobody's here! On it. Kenny! Move anything you can up against the doors and windows! That's what I was thinking. Omi! What is it? Go now! Front hallway! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Dirty my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. 
Back off. Um. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me. For Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next- This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. It was my business. Not ours? Not Clementine? You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take it. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. In pain, that is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? 
I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bike. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. He's fine, okay? Chill. I know you want to get out of here. Omid's making good progress. I'm fine. I miss my family. That's all. Appreciate you asking, though. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. There's no use dwelling on it. You know that. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go.
Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? It's good to be moving. We can't stop. Damn right we can't. We're not too far. How we finding this guy? We just get to the hotel and stick together. And use our heads. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> Fucking sorry. You know what that thing means to finding her? We know where she is. For now. Guys. Doc, I am sorry. Whatever, man. Ah, fuck it. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Jump? I, need I am steady. jumping. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Here, baby. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. <sighs> what are you doing? Get her, Ken! Can't sit all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! <sighs> I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? I'll grab you! Get the fuck off me! We're going in after him! We can't! We have to! Lee! Maybe he ran. Maybe the man's all right. Maybe you'll find us. 
What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Fuck up too, Claire. It's Kenny to answer for, too. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. We would be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Just take care of her as long as you can, then find her a family that's capable. We're capable. You and your girlfriend might want different things. That's enough. Fine, but you heard me. She'll be fine, Lee. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. You two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. Krista, you next! Going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way.
I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons. Lost them. I don't believe you. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. You shouldn't lie. Sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are. You saw my car, out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later. In the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. Cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. 
and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. No. You're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. smell good. Yeah, I know. Let's get out of here, okay? Yes, please. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. way out. Through there. Jesus. Don't look at there. No, I know. didn't bite you. 
stuff. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Done. A little more. I want to be sure. <sighs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. It was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I... I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. Outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! See? Clementine, honey. 
My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was spit clear. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I... I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You're just learning, huh? Never let yourself get trapped, okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't, I won't, I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee! The door is right here! <sighs> I can't. You have to! Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You have to keep away from me. But Lee... Do whatever you have to do to keep me away from you. You have to. Okay. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. Keep pulling. It might give. Uh. That window. Just regular glass. There's a chair over there. And don't be scared of the walker. He'll be fine. Keep pulling. It might give. Uh. That window. Just regular glass. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the log. He's, he's trapped! 
The soup is easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure you're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him. He's trapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. Keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If you think it's dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Claire. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Watch out! Absolutely have to. Otherwise, 
I'll go. I'll, I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. It's gonna stay bad out there. Until it gets better. But it will. One day. Until then, though. No. Don't trust anyone. You have so much more growing up to do. People will see how small you are and try to take advantage of you. Try to get you to do things you shouldn't. I won't let them. Good. <laughs> Myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. Thank mm -hmm. you.